Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to perform a detailed gaming review of Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus smartphone. It comes with Snapdragon 625 processor, Adreno 506 GPU, 4GB RAM, 64GB internal storage and 6 inch Full HD Plus screen. So we are going to play a few of the most high-end games on this device and then we will see how good it's going to perform and we will also have a look on the battery performance and also the heating. So let's start it. So the games we got today here, they are Injustice 2, Sport Extreme, Modern Combat, No Ali JC Bullet Force, Dead Trigger 2, few of the most high-end and heavy graphics game. So let's play them one by one and let's see how good Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus is going to perform. So let's just start first of all with Sport Extreme. So the volume is full from device and game settings both. So the speaker is really loud and the graphics quality is good as well here. The touch screen sensitivity is nice and the sensors are performing pretty well as well. And here we go. So you can see while playing Sport Extreme, performance of Redmi 5 Plus is really good. Now if you go to the battery settings, here you can have a look on the the device temperature. It's 33 degrees C right now. So now let's play a few more games and we will see that how much it's going to affect the temperature of the device, how hot it's going to be. So now let's play Injustice 2. Push yourself harder. I'm back there.
So you can see that there is no frame drops, no lagging of any kind while playing Injustice 2. So in Injustice 2 performance of Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus is really nice, no frame drops, no lagging. And now if you go back from here to the battery once again, you can see that the temperature is slightly raised now from 33 to 36 degrees Celsius. And now let's go back and let's try to play Asphalt Extreme. So you can see that the game is exactly where we have left it. So the 4GB RAM is working really fine. So you can play two high-end games, heavy graphics games side by side without any issue. If you go back from here to once again in Justice 2, it will be exactly where we have left it. So now let's play something else. Let's play Dead Trigger 2. So you can see that it is a 3D graphics game and the camera angles are changing very smoothly without any issue, lag or frame drop, everything is nice and perfect. So you can see that the graphics quality is really good. While playing Dead Trigger 2 and also the camera angles are changing smoothly, no frame drops, no lagging or any kind of issues in the gameplay. So now let's play something else. 
let's try to play Injustice 2 once again. And now it's force closed. So you can see that we cannot play three games side by side. If we try to go back to Asphalt Extreme, let's see what's going to happen. So Asphalt Extreme is still there. Let's try Injustice 2 once again and it's starting fresh. So you can be sure that at least you can play two high-end games, heavy graphics games side by side and do some multitasking. But if you move from two to three, then chances are high that the third game or any of the game will be closed. So now let's play Modern Combat. So you can see that this is a heavy graphics game and also while playing Modern Combat there is no frame drops, no lagging, everything is nice and smooth. Not so good in playing games, I'm just trying to give you an idea if you're going to play a few high-end games like this, so how good will be the performance of the device. So you can see that everything is nice and smooth, the camera angles are changing so quickly in any direction. It's so good, no frame drops, no lacking. It's just that I'm not a good player. I'm just so bad. <laughs> so now let's play something else because I'm not so good in playing this particular game. Let's try Nova Legacy. So you can see that Nova LJC is also a 3D graphics game and the gameplay is so smooth, no lagging, no frame drops. So every game is so nice and smooth.
So you can see that while playing Nova Legacy performance of Redmi 5 Plus is really good. Everything is so nice, so smooth. No frame drops, no lagging, camera angles are changing smoothly. Everything is so nice here as well. So if you're a gamer, you can be sure that the performance of Redmi 5 Plus will be satisfactory for you. The only drawback is the 4GB RAM is not so much sufficient for running lots of games side by side. You can play and run two high-end games side by side. You can play them, do some multitasking. But if you increase this amount of games, if you move from two to three, then maybe some of the games will be, or some of the applications will be force closed. So overall, the gaming performance of Redmi 5 Plus is looking quite good. And you can see that we started playing games around at 75% of the battery. Now it's 68% after playing the games for nearly half an hour. And if you go to the settings, let's have a look on the device temperature. And it's 37 degrees. So only four degrees Celsius temperature is increased from 33 to 37 degree after playing all of these high-end games for nearly 30 minutes. So we can say that the device is not even heating up at all because it comes with full metal body and we were playing few of the most high-end games. So considering that the device is not heating up and even actually when I'm touching the back panel, it's not warm at all. It's at totally normal temperature. I think it's warm just because of me holding the device for half an hour like this, not because of the high-end gaming. And also the battery performance is so, so good that we played few of the most high-end games for nearly half an hour and the battery percentage moved from 75 to 68% only. So overall gaming performance of Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus is really good in terms of performance, battery life and also the heating issue. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands on videos like this. I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.